Okay, these small details are very important, okay? Now, a lot of you guys have noticed, and that's a good thing because you're going to pick up a lot of this faster, you're going to remember more, okay? But a lot of you guys have noticed have, uh, what do you uh, You've thrown legs before, okay? That's good. I want you to get your head, hips even higher than you're used to because there's a little bit of a new cross body ride. Happens a lot in college, um, so it's kind of making its way down to the high school ranks. And I call it the knee drape. Now, it looks a little bit better when the guy's broken down than when he's up, but they're doing it all over the place. And if you get in that in the correct position, you'll feel that it's really, really tight. Okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up high again. You'll see that my foot is almost barely in when I start this, okay? But it is a cross body right. You'll see my hips are way up. My hips are way, yeah, I'm high, but that gives me leverage. The reason that I want to be here is because I can hang on. I'm gonna take my knee and I'm gonna put it against this hip right here. Okay, I'm going to take my knee and I'm going to put it right against his hip right here. And then from there, I'm going to scissor my legs. A lot of people also hook, but don't hook and let go. You want to scissor your legs. And with your knee up over the guy's side right here, the taller you are, the easier this is going to be to hook up. Sorry. Okay? You're going to be able to squeeze your knees together and hang on. No matter what I'm doing with my hands, I could be doing anything. Okay? And I'm, be I'm able to hang on. All right? because I've got my knee over the hip. Now, if you guys, a lot of people are gonna to wanna to do this because they're used to hooking their foot over. Now when I squeeze, I can still fall off, okay? So it's a knee drain position. And when you go ahead and break the guy down, you guys can do this two or three times as I walk around. But you wanna be up here, okay? And don't, you know, just have the guy break down. You have to just push. And when you break down, what you wanna have, and that's why I call it a knee drain, you want your knee over his thigh. Everybody see that? Can't see that? Stand up or look. If I've got my knee over his thigh, I'll show you right here. It's touching the mat. The taller you are, the more likely that knee is touching the mat. Leg scissors. Okay, here's a lot of pressure right here. Okay, now I move his hips without having to swing around. Alright, so do this two or three times each. I'll walk around and help you out. Alright? One, two, three.